Oh snap, I'm back, y'all. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Freddy Suave. And this is Everyday Finesse. Yo, listen, man. If you haven't done so already, go down and hit that subscribe button, leave a like on this video, and comment what you guys want me to react to next. Because on this channel, man, you already know. You comment, I react. Now, listen, man. We got Meek Mill, Other Side of America. We go cut straight to the chase, man. I know y'all see it. Now, I see it right now, it's 18 on trending. I saw it released a few days ago, but um, you know, I was just I was just chilling, I wasn't listening to it. But I was like, you know what? But in light of everything going on right now, we gotta react to it. It has like two million views on it almost. So we're like, you know what? I'm gonna get into it. Meek Mill actually used to be my favorite rapper, maybe like maybe like six, seven years ago. You know, when he was like really doing a lot of shit. Like he was basically like one of my favorite rappers at the time. Kind of like started just being like less consistent, I guess for me. And so I was like chilling. Then I know he was in, he was locked up too, and all that stuff like that. So um, I was kind of chilling on him for a while. But yeah, he used to be my favorite rapper. So I already know it's about to be good. You know, what I mean, he's doing his thing, man. Basically balling right now. So we go get into this, man. We're not gonna talk too much. Go down and hit that subscribe button, y'all. Without further ado, Meek Mill, Other Side of America, let's get it. But yeah, y'all already know what I'm gonna say before we even press the video. Yo, we're on the road to 1K subscribers, man. We basically have like 900 now. We need 100 more strong supporters, man. Yo, press that subscribe button. We got more content, and all you gotta do is go down and let me know what you want me to react to. And it's on the screen, man. But anyways, Meek Mill, Other Side of America, let's do it. Why do you have to lose? You're living in poverty. You're so Bro, he used that Donald Trump joint. Yo, this, that made me so mad. Before, I don't know, I haven't let it play out, but like, I already know what that is, man. It's Donald Trump. He's basically saying, what do y'all have to lose, man? Basically, he's telling black people, y'all live in poverty. This is happening. Basically, fuck y'all. Get with the program. You know what I mean? This is crazy, man. How do we have a president that's doing that? Who can, who can support a president like that? I don't... Schools are no good. You have no jobs. Oh, hold up. Sorry. Fifty-eight percent of your youth is unemployed. What the hell do you have to lose? We're pulling live from the other side of America. Mama let me sip the 40. I was just a shorty. Yeah. Then I started spitting garlic, and they said record me. Man. I feel like this shit was for me. This shit just my story. Facts. Okay. Yo, you got the storytelling beat on. You know how I feel about those storytelling beats. But, bro, me came in here tough. He's spitting some crazy stuff. He, I can already tell you about to go in right now. But I'm sorry, y'all. That whole Donald Trump just, drink just blew me all over again, man. Like, how? How, yo? But come on, me. Tell us a little story. Let's go. And they said, record me. Man. I feel like this shit was for me. This shit just my story. Facts. Yeah. Uh. Jump out the porch. Uh. I got a Porsche, no take it back. I'm on the block with the killers and hoeing my own, of course. Yeah. I see my mom and dad separate, ain't talking divorce. Said so daddy was living by the fire, and he died by the torch. I'm with the eight cases. We like the baby baby kids. Hey, but daddy, I listen to suckers the same with that Ray Ray D. I see what he's getting at, man. It's called Other Side of America. He's basically showing a little piece of like the black experience, man. I already, already heard like he's talking about. Growing up with no pops, he's, he's talking about being on the corner. He growing up with the violence, the drugs, the guns, all that stuff. And you got to fight right now, man. So he's basically trying to explain, even though they're not going to listen. But he, he's showing this is what's going on. And based on what Donald Trump said, this is why this is happening. Whatever you're saying, the no jobs, oh, this is in a third. Listen up, this is why, my guy. I'm telling stitches in HK, and I just was a great A kid. Hey, no guy, we grew up with hitters and did everything they did. I'm hitting from Jet, ain't hitting back. I need a lawyer, money for commissary, ain't nobody ain't sending that. I'm in my cell, like when I get out, I'm making a movie, no sending that. Who? Yeah. Back home, and I'm fresh on bell. Phone chirping, it was next to tell. Block popping, it was extra cell. Big dogs ain't showing remorse. I was begging just to catch a cell. Same block, we was going to war. I was praying I ain't catch a shell. Hey. Ooh. We ain't starting for a thousand nights. Living like we trying to die tonight. Got 40 cent like dynamite. I was fucking out my cop money. Selling soap like it's China White. OG said you fucking a black cup. I was mad, I was trying to fight. Nigga, we home. Mommy at work. Daddy, he dead. Nigga, we home. 
bro. He is spitting straight heat right now. He's talking some real stuff, man. And I always say this. Obviously, this is not everybody in America, man. Um, I'm black, but, you know, unfortunately, you know, God willing, and, you know, my parents doing the right things and being in the right places. Because both of my parents are immigrants. My mom's from Jamaica. My dad's from Africa, man. They came here and they were like, uh, we need to do better stuff for ourselves. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I grew up. I had the opportunity to go to a decent school. I had the opportunity to go to a, a pretty, a very good college. You know what I mean? And so, you know what I mean? I had better opportunities, but he's speaking up about himself and he's just like, yo, this is what happened. like, he was like, I remember a piece of the song. He was like, yo, the hit, the hitter said, do it. We go do it. You know what I mean? You, you a young kid and you're growing up with all these people saying, this is the way to go. And if you're not doing that stuff, you might get killed out on the street. It's a war zone. You're born into a war zone. Get up. <laughs> Take the little, uh, the little pacifier out your mouth and start fighting, man. Let's go. Stomach growling like an FG going to bed, we home. Uzi on me, all my friends are dead, nigga, we home. Mm. We're pulling live from the other side of America. Pulling live from the other side. Yeah. Same corner where my brothers die. Yeah. Living like we ain't got care. Told my mama I ain't dying here. No. 40 on me, I ain't buying beer. No. Ain't have a will, now I'm flying Lear. Bunch of fellas on the jab with me. Make a movie like it's kind of Started off in the basement, now it's rooftops in the burn air. Still fighting over cases, I don't pay up, nigga, but it's my year. Summertime, nigga, cold out. He don't want me like a mind clear. Cause it's bigger than my whole oh. house. Think about it, I was fine there. Came in the dirt. dirt. Dedicated, I was making it work. Medicated, I was taking them purse. Devastated when my niggas got murked. Educated, had to get to it first. I know trapping it to get me in jail. Playing with pistols it to get me a hearse. But I ain't give a fuck. Send me to church. Ooh, yeah. They gotta catch me in traffic. I ain't with none of this rash. Oh my gosh, he's been spinning. Now I remember <laughs> why he was my favorite rapper, man. Like, come on, man. How can you not like this, man? So hype. Too hype. Come on, me. Spin it. Been turn around from these caskets. All of this pain, but then me, nigga. You don't want none of this action. Go get some money and feed your fam. Cause this is a fucking disaster. Chase. Oh. We ain't starving for a thousand nights. Living like we try and die tonight. Got 40 sound like dynamite. I was fucking out my cop money. Selling soap like it's trying to wipe. OG said you fucking a block up. I was mad, I was trying to fight. Nigga, we home. Mommy at work, daddy he dead. Nigga, we home. Stomach growling like an FG going to bed. We home. Uzi on me, all my friends are dead. Nigga, we home. We're pulling live on the other side of America. I always dream too of being like on like CNN and being able to express myself in. And, and speak for like Do the it. voiceless young men of, uh, of America. The first step I would say, I grew up in America in a ruthless neighborhood where we are not protected by police. Uh, we grew up in ruthless environments. We grew up around murder. You see murder. You see seven people die a week. I think you would probably carry a gun yourself. Would you? Uh, yeah, I probably would. Yeah. You see seven people die on the streets, you would probably carry a gun yourself. Protect yourself. I literally just said that, man. It's like at this point you, you you wake up out the womb and you like, all right, let me do something to make sure I live to see over age, you know? It's crazy though, like he ain't telling one lie and out through doing it, he's spitting hard flow, tough, tough song. Easily one of his toughest songs, man. I love it. I love it, man. This should be number one trending. Easily. Easily, man. But listen, man. That was Meek Mill, Other Side of America. Wake up, people. Wake up. But I like it, man. <sighs> if you want to see more stuff like this, man, like the video, comment, and on the way down there, hit that subscribe button, man. We're on the way to 1K subs. So join the fan, man. Anyways, this is the end of the video, unfortunately. This is Freddy Schwabe. This is Everyday Finesse, man. And we out. <laughs>